Lee, we spoke about, if you remember, where we put a bottle on the table, and we said, okay, if this is the body of the man, we could change it with a pen. But, now, let's go a step further. All of you have made these coils. We have made these coils in a very simple way, and we have bought, understand, I repeat this again, the operation of this, these coils. These coils are built to replicate the operation of the universe. This internally has a gravitational and a magnetical property. This has a gravitational magnetic property. The two together have their own gravitational and the magnetic property in respect to each other. So, the environment they create is totally shape of, literally, a ball of plasma. Here, we brought this in this line. In the space technology, which now we're producing the plasmas, we, as I showed you, we turned the plasma in this shape, where we could create and control both magnetical and gravitational to create pressure and changes. Those of you who follow the health section, you can use this. Let me explain how. If you put this as a body of a man, and you put this on one side, you can change the orientation of this ring, and change the plasmatic condition, gravitational magnetic field strength, which goes through the body, if you put a similar unit on this side. Let me explain it to you this way. This is one of the plates from the, one of the power supplies, Magrav units. If I put this Magrav unit here, and put another Magrav unit on the other side of the body of the man, and now I orientate, to change the orientation or gravitational magnetic field strength of the system. You see, I can adjust it to be zinc, and I can adjust it to be gold. I can bring it to be hydrogen. So, in the coming time, the orientation of the gravitational field on one system, as it goes through the body of the man, or the body, will change and affect what is inside in the center. So, if I can go this way, that you can see better, this way. So, if I put this on this side, and I change this, as the energy goes through the body, it changes. You have a cancer based on calcium, it changes it slightly, you bring it to potassium. In this environment, potassium cannot exist, so the cancer disappears. Because you change the environment of the field inside the body of the man. So, the next step now, which you are learning in the health section of the space technology, you need one coil. Or, you decide to hold the center constant, and just change the magnet gravitational, then magnetical now. So, you can change the two, or you can change the strength of the gravitational in the center of one in respect to the other. Becomes very easy. The new health systems, now that we know how to change gravitational magnetic field, you can go from hydrogen to any element you want, by literally changing the orientation, or the power supply as a plasma in the coils. You don't need to carry every medicine with you, because now you can change higher gravitational system, go to heavier metals, heavier elements, or become magnetical to release it according to what you want. So, from now on, in the new health sections that we talk about, in a way, you don't need to carry vitamin C, vitamin D, or aspirin, or whatever. One system, variation in a strength, orientation of one field to another, will create what you need. This is what we said in the space, you don't need to take any medicine. A coil like this, which creates a plasma inside, you're not working with a field, with a plasma, with the coppers, 
you're working with the field of the plasma here. This is the plasma which you're changing. This is what you're working with. So, in changing orientation, you change the plasma strength which is released, or you block. You increase the gravitational to go to heavier element, or you increase the magnetic pole to release and convert to a little lighter. But you place another system here, which means this has to interact with this. So, in between is the body of the man. Change of cancer in zero time. Because you change the environment. Later on today, we are testing one. Very much in this way. We have a man who's had a cancer, has been, what do you call it, operated on, and it has reoccurred. Now we're going to test, literally with two plates like this, without a variation, to see if we can change the condition. But don't forget, we connect these two together. That we decide that there is a need for a field flow. There is a need for interaction. Leaving one in respect to the other. With the body of man inside changes, within this, as we develop this technology, you test, then we come to build one system. Literally a small unit like this, can handle any disease in the space. Because now you control the gravitation and the magnetical. Those of you who are in the health section, and like doctors who work, slowly can start developing a system which is literally based on a free plasma. And just don't forget, you need to create a plasma condition. This way, you get a flat plasma. You need the spherical shape of it, which is for twisting it this way, in the middle. Or, the other way around. So, the structure of the new plasma space is very, very simple. It's what you need, and now you have the tools for it. One simple system can give you, those of you who made that 9 stacker, or 12 stacker, or whatever, you can use these stackers, even make it 20 stackers high, but in a way that you can move it, and put another 20 stacker across from it, or, as we saw earlier on, Rick showed us, we have people who made this 9 stacker. It's perfect. Make it more, make it 20. As many as you can, the height of a man. Then, make a variable stand that you can move another system, another stacker up and down, in respect to this. And put the money of the man in the middle. You have a cancer in the stomach area, you use this. You have a cancer which is spread across the body, you use all of it. You turn the man, you got the brain cancer, brain tumor, you do this part. You have an amputated leg, you want to grow it, you create the field here. So, the people who showed us, and they keep on showing the new pieces and the new condition, there's always application. When you go into it, you can explain it. Extend this, make this to 20, 30 stacker, try to be very close. And at the same time, when you make these kind of things, don't connect them to each other. Make a system that you can connect this to this, or this to this. Don't tie up to increase the field continuously to another. And then, do the same across. If you can build a system, which is very much in a star formation, the same as these stackers, and you place the body here, the body becomes the fourth reactor. You can dictate building of the chambers of the heart, you can building the pieces of the body, where, for example, there is a cancer, or there is a blockage, you want to remove it without open operation, because you can precisely with three position, with two, 
you have a spectrum open. So, you can pinpoint, create the right field for the muscle tissue of the stomach. And then, you target it where it is, exactly where you want it to be. This is what is going to be added in the coming time, the more and more people come in, and as we open the Institute as a research center, these are the things, people who come up with these things, expand the knowledge, extend it in a way to understand what you are doing. Allow your positions from now on to make a place which are fixed with two rings. Allow in a way that you can make flexible rings.